snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? Are you being reckless? Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. Hey everybody, we're back with you this week with another adventure of Adored or Ignored. And of course, I have Jessica with me. Hi, Jessica. Hi, good morning. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Good. So we're we're um, kind of in our last points of April of this mm -hmm. year. And so it's summertime's coming and, you know, it's going to get warmer weather and all that. But now we're still reading because of, you know, spring weather kind of brings showers and stuff. So it makes a nice reading event sometimes, you know. So now we have some good stuff to share with you this week so you have a book that you're really excited about this week. i am so both the boys have been uh, cooper has been reading this to carter and it's frilly and it's, it's this one's about bugs and it's got these really neat rubber pieces there so you can touch and feel and they're goopy and they're just frill um every time carter does it it's like oh it's like squeals a little bit and they giggle so it's super fun this one also comes in a series it has sharks dinosaurs and monsters so it's, it's interactive says, kind of a book so interactive it says you must never touch the bugs except in this book so it's really cute um but it's it's pretty short story but it's counting so they're going to count the bugs they're going to touch the bugs where do you see the bug um it's a total storyline, but then it's a really easy read for Cart or for Cooper. Um, and Carter will kind of get in on the counting. Like to, he starts to kind of repeat what his older brother says. So it's just a real fun, interactive way. Um, the weather has been real hit and miss. So this one's been what I have found them cuddled up on uh, in their room reading this week. So yeah. that's why I wanted to share it. And it also comes in a series. So if they love this one, they're able, you're able to find the other ones as well. Yeah. Okay. So you have, uh, have you already, that's the first one you've gotten out of the series. This is the first one and they've already requested. So I'm getting on Amazon to find, I really think the never touch the sharks would be fun, especially going into like the summertime. So that one's going to be the one that I'm looking for next. Okay, great. So that, that's great. So they can, is it the same interactive type of book? It is. So each one, the sharks, it's the teeth and their bodies that will be different feeling. Um, the monsters, same thing, their mouths, uh, just different pieces, but same type of thing. It's going to have that jelly. It's going to have the, uh, the rubber, like interactive, touchy, feely uh, oh, type neat. of book. Yeah. Neat. Well, I think just finding Nemo with that shark was enough to scare anybody, but you know, yes, not touch that. For oh. sure. Not <laughs> touch that. So speaking of movies. Yes. You got some movies that you definitely want to um, see. Yes. Uh, so, so tell me the first one you're going to go see. We are going to do Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah. Um, both of my boys have been excited about that one, but we have just been so busy with baseball. It came out um, April 8th. So we are going to see that um, this week. And then there's another one that has a lot of mu uh, music that's kind of been catching the boy's eye with the trailer. So they'll hear the music and they immediately are like, I want to go see that. I want to see that. So it's called The Bad Guys and uh -huh. it's based off a book. Um, it's about, I think, I think four or five different friends. It's animated. There's a snake and like all these different animals. Um, they were bad guys and they want to be good. So it's their journey on um, being the good guys. Okay. All right. So have you seen any like reviews on it before it's actually released? Have you seen any reviews on that? I haven't seen anything yet, but I've heard good things about Sonic. So I'm hopeful that it will be good for the, the boys will enjoy it. Okay, so like just the name of the bad guys, would you like even thought about like just go see it first by yourself? Well, after watching the trailer, no, just because the trailer seems really light, it's animated, they're silly. Um, it's much, uh, it's a universal movie, so I think that it's going to have a good message. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, too worried because because when we watched uh, Turning Red, it totally was different than it totally the was. It was totally different than the trailer, so it may it may surprise me, unfortunately, again, but um, I'm hoping, my fingers are crossed, that's not the case. That's why we do this this type of format, just to kind of see what's really out there, because it's <laughs> totally different than totally you know, like different. anything else. They lure you in, and then it's like, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that's true. That did happen with me on Turning Red. I was definitely disappointed with that one. Yeah, it was kind of a chick flick, you know, kind of like, total chick flick. Yeah, so that, they don't tell you that either. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, okay, so that's what we're doing there. Now, you have uh, this book thing at the library at one of the kids' schools. So, tell us about that. Yes, so Cooper has this new book vending machine in the library. Um, it's this brand new, really nice machine, and it has all kinds of different books in it, um, series in there. So, if they get the first one, like it kind of gets them to want to go in and get that second, third one. But it's you get um, rewards for good behavior, helping in the classroom, um, stuff like that. They get a token so they can go into the library with their token get and purchase a book and they get to keep it and that's cooper i think that's his selling point because he's used to going to the library picking a book and then you have to return it later this one he was so amped about mom i get to keep it i get to keep it it's my book so like you get i to earned keep it the book. Okay. you do you get to keep yep. is it a, is it a paperback or yes they are paperback books okay so they're paperback books and so is it until you get to pick the book you do. So it's just like you go on to, to purchase like a soda. It's like you push A1 and you get this book or A2 and you get this book. So they get to pick what they want out of there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay. So when we come back, we'll have two movies to kind of go over. Sonic is getting great reviews. So I think that's going to be a thumbs up. It just seems like. Yes. So, and we're, we're going to see what bad boys are doing with Universal. We'll see what they yes. do. We're hoping that I am not disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's sad when you have a kid movie and you have to kind of put that little margin of error out there you know, as a For parent, sure. you know, and you really already paid your money, you know, that kind of thing. And you walk in there expecting this and you get that. So, but anyway, that's point. So you're going to get a, give us a review on that. So adore it for the book. Don't touch adore the book. Adore it all. For sure. The never touch the bug. Never touch the bug. Give a thumbs up on that. Adore. Hedgehog, we, we're going to kind of give it this. Yeah, we'll I'm halfway this. there already. I'm thinking it's going to yeah. be great. And then we'll we'll see what the other one does. So I'm sure everybody's going to come out because that's in, up in two days, you said. Yes. It's out in two days. That's great. So next week, we will not have a show just due to some uh, scheduling conflicts. And then we'll continue with our next program after that. So other than that, that's what we have for you today. All right. Uh, thanks for sharing that with us, Jessica. Of course. We'll see you in a few weeks. Yeah, we'll see you a uh, week after next. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.